Hey guys, and welcome to Nerding Out, the show where us GameSpot nerds and you talk about the things that we like. And today we're talking about Westworld Season 1, Episode 9, The Well-Tempered Clavier. Let's jump into some viewer theories. So we had one that was absolutely confirmed, knocked out of the park. So Gene Pisciano, or Picciano, said that Ford created Bernard very possibly in the likeness of Arnold. And he also said that in the last two episodes that Bernard will recall his history. He just, he nailed it. That's exactly Mm -hmm. what we saw last night. Mm -hmm. Very good job, Gene. Um, So let's talk about Bernard being a recreation of Arnold. Bernard-nold. Bernard-nold. Let's yes. talk about Bernard-nold. Bernard-nold. It's an anagram. Uh, Bernard Lowe and then Arnold, what was his last name? It well, said it on the door. Uh, peop- yeah. Oh, it did say yeah. Weber, I yes. think. Yes. Okay, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, mm-hmm. my kind of what I, I think here, and I said this last week, is that we're looking for uh, Ford's adversary. Who's going to really like make him like, whoa, I, I have to compete to beat this guy. Because everybody else, he's just laid them to the side with, with no problems. Right. And we thought maybe it's Arnold that's going to be his adversary. Well, apparently it's not because he just had him commit suicide. Mm -hmm. Um, So now that we, we've met Arnold, it's who's next, who is going to be, is it going to be Maeve? Is it going to be Wyatt? Is it going to be ghost nation? And on the website, if you look into ghost nation, it talks about it being a place uh, on the map that is very difficult to get to, but if you can get there and get in the inner circle of the ghost nation, the reward, the rewards will, b- will blow your mind. Ooh. So I think we're going to see somebody get into the inner circle of ghost nation. Yeah. So that, I think that's a key for and, the finale. Exactly. Yeah. And I think we see, uh, you know, Ford kind of take a step back and go, Oh, whoa, who is this? Yeah. Also just want to mention that, uh, when we think about, Bernard being Arnold, we can kind of look back to those scenes where he's talking to Dolores in the basement and they're like, oh my God, I've been looking at Arnold half of the time. So I feel like it's um, when Dolores is naked, she's talking to Bernard. And when she was clothed, she was talking directly to Mm -hmm. Arnold and Arnold was dressed slightly differently. I think you said that his like mustache was slightly sharper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked a little bit clean, cleaned up over there. Yeah. Um, his receding hairline yeah. moves around. Look, yeah, it looked a little different. Yeah. I, I also wanted to bring up that you say adversary and Arnold was, I feel, I believe Arnold was Ford's and Arnold, because of the mix up between those two, he had Dolores, he programmed Dolores to kill his former partner. Um, and she says it at the end, but you don't know if it was yeah, legit right. or if, if, you know, she was told to say that, but. So Ford I, had Dolores kill Arnold. Yes. I, that's what I believe mm. at this point right now. Mm. Interesting. Mm. So then that's, why? Does when Dolores says, were we friends? And he's like, not really, no. It's, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, that was um, maybe I'm reading well. too far into it, yeah. That was, that yeah, was I think, a previous episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think oh, that okay. kind of, um, there was, un, obviously there was a close relationship between Dolores mm-hmm. and Arnold, right? Mm-hmm. And there was some remnants of Arnold's code in there. Mm-hmm. She might have tweaked out and she, you know, from what I believe that she massacred a bunch of people in that town. Yeah. And maybe his, uh, you know, Ford's way of dealing with her was kind of to punish her. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's kind of a, a weird relationship. Right. Yeah. You know, programming yeah. one side and then it flips on you and then and then having to, um, you know, punish, keep her in a loop, a right. never ending loop. Keep it of in just, check. Yeah, yeah. Keep her in yeah, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing I want to point out that we we kind of diminished last week as Gadge was saying like, he thinks that Dolores is Wyatt and we were like, no, Wyatt's a dude. And then in this episode, totally possible. They, they, yeah. t- it, they just put different hosts in the place. of right. yep. Yep. Maybe not so, Wyatt himself, but inspired right. by, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Inspired well, it's by totally, mm-hmm. it's totally possible. And right. we, we totally knocked his theory down. Well, I did. I did. Um, <laughs> sorry, Gadge. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let's talk about Maeve really quick. So Maeve was able to control Bernard. Uh, <laughs> Why is she that powerful? Like, does anyone? She's a twenty now. She can control yeah. all. Yeah, she can control everyone. And she's she's you know yeah. the, she can narrate everything and yeah. she can control um, anyone in the park. Yeah. So um, if, if anyone's able to escape, I think it's Maeve. And mm-hmm. I don't know if we're gonna see it next week, but I think she will be able to. I don't I'll get know. Close. She'll, she'll get, get close. close. I think she'll get close. Yeah, yeah. In the preview, we do see a shot well, of her. And you know, she does like when she's dealing with the host, she's like, this is what they would do to you, but I'm not going to do it to you. So right. you can tell she's kind of like taking these hosts in and yeah. it's like, hey, we're on this journey together. <laughs> Let's be conscious together. Right. So yeah. having yeah. robot sex with them, lighting them on fire, sure. you know, what? just she's wooing. She doesn't Definitely. feel pain. Yeah. She doesn't feel I mean, pain anymore. It doesn't very, hard, very hard to say no at that point. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, team building exercise. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think that uh, Maeve is part of Ford's storyline somehow. I'm not sure how directly, but I feel mm-hmm. like her knowing this stuff mm-hmm. is part of it somehow. Um, but I think that like sentience overall for the hosts is involved in his storyline. I'm just not sure where the end point is. Yeah. Thoughts? I was going to talk about that, yeah. but uh, so I think that you're completely correct. Okay. And, and I'm sure that most of the internet thinks you're right at this point. Uh, I think that the maze is completely switched. The, Ooh. the, the script is flipped. Mm-hmm. It was Arnold's to help like the underground ra- railroad kind of thing for mm-hmm. hosts. And now it's, Ford took it over and now is finding these mm. hosts and he's just like, they're going to get to the end. She's going to be like, oh my God, I got out. And Ford's going to be like, nah, nah, come here. nah. I still again. control I'm everything. Done. I'm still, I'm still not letting go of the Ford as a host theory yeah. just because I've been pushing it the whole, uh, the whole <laughs> season. So I got to have, uh, it's you true. Stick, You're everyone's gonna go nuts a host. Next week. Stick to my guns. Robots creating so. robots. Everyone's a host. Stick to my guns. Yeah. It's still possible because Maeve can control Bernard. So Bernard can control everybody, but, Maybe he's also just a robot that's super powered like Maeve, but more so. I just think the Ford, Maeve, like they, they're tapped into the matrix yeah. and people mm-hmm. are saying voice commands through narrative, but mm-hmm. like there's been some times I think that they've just kind of been like, no. Yeah. And then a robot does something. Mm-hmm. I'm probably wrong about that. Anyway. <laughs> but still, speaking no of one being has a wrong, <laughs> We're, we have an um actually from Keith Uh-oh. this week. Our producer here, Buddy, was talking about Maeve's comment saying, even out of 14, you were no match for me. And Keith said Maeve was referring to herself when she said that. In other words, even when her bulk at perception attribute was 14, she was still smarter than the tech. Yep, I was wrong. <laughs> I thought that she was talking about his ap- perception ap- perception <laughs> rating uh sorry internet you're better nerds than me <laughs> thanks keith thanks Keith. all right so moving on william is the man in black i'm pretty sure right that's what's gonna happen next week that's the reveal sure that way. william was unhinged at this episode and he just started shooting and killing everybody and he's even freaking out logan logan's like whoa dude <laughs> You really got messed up by this place. Went to the dark side. Oh, man. (laughs) Real messed up. (laughs) Can I please go home This is a picture of your wife. Yeah. So that's, yeah, the picture. So the picture of his fiance is the picture that Dolores' father freaked out over. Mm -hmm. And it was more weathered at that time. So it totally confirms multiple timelines, does it not? Yes. Yes. All yes. right. So there's yes. that. Okay, guys. So there's one episode left. Let's talk predictions for next week. The episode is called The Bicameral Mind. Anyone? I'll Pred- jump in. Okay. I'll, I have a theory. Yes. Um, so one of my favorite books is a Kurt Vonnegut book mm-hmm. called The Player Piano. Mm-hmm. And it's about AI taking over the world and destroying everything. And it all starts with this player piano. Um we see a player piano throughout the entire season. Yes, we do. And every time we're in Ford's office, we see a piano with a host playing it. So I'm predicting he meets his match. He goes, play a little ditty. The guy goes, door opens. He runs into the maze, and and that's the end of the first season. Nice. I think we're done here. Yeah, I think we're done. Goodbye, everyone. Does that, Buddy, any it, predictions? I, I have not looked up what bicameral mind means as of yet. Mm-hmm. Um, just to stay consistent, uh, I don't like sports, but if I did, I would stay with one team. Mm-hmm. Ford's going to be like, yo, I'm a host, and then he's just going to kill everybody. Uh, that's a stupid theory, but I have to stay with it. I think um, I think that we're going to... Pe- more. We're going to be revealed that more people are hosts than we actually thought. It yep. may not be... It may not be Ford. <laughs> It hurts to say, but I definitely think we're going to, there's going to be at least two more host reveals in the next episode. Mm. I think we're going to see the host that is being created in the basement where Teresa died. So whoever that is revealed to be, I've been saying Elsie bot. I'm still standing by Elsie bot, but it could be Mm -hmm. anyone on Reddit. They were like, what if it's the man in black? I'm like, whoa, what are you talking about? That's (laughs) crazy. (laughs) But I'm going to stand by Elsie bot. Ryan, Mm -hmm. any predictions? I just come back to this like final shot of, like all the board members there from Delos mm-hmm. and then all of these Maeve and all of her crew like coming up into, you know, the underground, the, the 
the headquarters. Yeah. And that's like a part of his like big reveal, his narrative. And he just kind of like, there's some standoff there. Um, mm-hmm. But he's controlling the that. whole thing. That there are, aware, mm-hmm. she, he has created these self-aware um, hosts. Yeah. And, and it, it, they kind of break, break the barrier between what's inside the park and outside the park. Got it. That's and you're a liar. One. You do That's love sports. You talk about <laughs> fantasy football nonstop. <laughs> yep. Maeve uh, is going to make it out, and then it's going to be revealed that Ford planned the whole thing, and then the board is all hosts. That's what I should have said earlier, nice. but Boom. I'm saying it now. All right. Well, you said it. We want to know what your predictions are, guys. So please leave those in the comments below and let us know what you think of this episode. Correct us if you need to. What did Buddy say weird this episode? Let us know in the comments. And for all things nerding out, stick with GameSpot Universe.